welcome back to the channel i'm paul you're watching the urban rats and today i'm with my friend mike and we're in the lake districts at seafway mike's just realized he's forgot his gloves in the van he's left his baggies i'm going getting them and then we'll carry on see waterfall over here it's stickle milk girl and we're carrying on through styed farm all right so we've just passed through the farm now i'm gonna walk up and this way it starts getting tough for me right so this is where uh, we start the rough stuff and we'll work our way up the valley been a nice steady walk up to now but this is where we start ascending up the hill onto the tops towards Stayed Town so let's go They're off on the bikes. <laughs> I won't be doing that when I'm 65 year old. Oh, he's, he's off, nearly off there. Eh? So we're just about at the top now where the woods are. And we come from that way. Right, so we've got a bit of a waterfall here. Now we're at the top. And we're just going to carry on now to Stayed Town. Right, yeah, so me and Mike were just saying the weather's changing now as we're hiking up. We've got the sun at the back of us. Uh, it's been nice all day, but now we can feel like the weather changing up in these tops now. And everyone's on the way back down. Well, we've come to the bridge at the top. We're going to cross over here now and make our way to Stayed Town. We've got snow on the tops round here, so it must be pretty cold up there. We're going to have a look round and decide where we're going to be camping tonight. So Mike's made the executive decision that we should carry on down the corridor route and see if we make it before it goes dark. So let's hike on, hikers. The sun's nearly going down. It's about quarter past five at night. We're gonna go down the corridor route. So in the background here, we've got great gable and green gable. We're heading back up into the corridor route. Let's go. This is the terrain that we're on. We got caught out on a path down here and we've had to scramble up the hill to rejoin this path that's going to take us to where we need to be so come on let's keep moving we're up near the top now I'm just going to find somewhere around here to pitch up the sun's going down look at the views on this Woo! living it baby so me and Mike are running out of daytime it's a big cliff down here we don't know if we've got time to get down there and get set up so what we've decided is we're going to head back towards Stayed Town and pitch up and we'll see you lot there so we're all set up now Mike's in the banshee the Van Gogh banshee 
I'm in the ways of one Terra Nova. We've got the kettle on. We're all set up. Let's get ourselves a cappuccino. Well, I'm gonna have a brew and I'm gonna put myself some uh, something to eat on, so I'll bring you what back after the brew. Well, after all that hiking, it's time to get something to eat. I went to the butchers and got myself a steak. And we've also got some mushrooms. That's the mushrooms. So Mike here, he's on the steak and onions as well. Well, that's what Mike's on, on the steak. So what sauce are you on there, Mike? This is mustard. So he's on the mustard, onions and uh, steak. Well, I'm absolute starving after all that walking we've done today. Right, this is where it's at. So this is Mike, he's well on it. Is it tasting good, Mike? Bang on. Bang on. There you go, you heard it first. So Mike's a bit posh, he's got his on a muffin, but um just gonna eat mine from the pan today. Mm -hmm. As usual, we'll try the mushroom. Wow. Oh. Yeah, that. Oh, bloody hell. Well, this is where it's at. Well, I'm just going to finish these mushrooms off and put my cup of coffee on while I'm doing that and then we can start chilling out tonight. So I've been using filtered water today from the tarns and uh, this is the B3 bottle that I've filtered my water with. So this is a um, 0.6 litre, but you can get like a one litre bottle as well. So, have a look online, bag yourself one of these. Well, Mike is pushing the boat out tonight because he's got steak number two on. Well, Urban Rats bar shut tonight. So I made myself another cappuccino. So I drink this and then I'm gonna get my head down and I'll see you lot in the morning. Good night. Well, good morning from the tent. And yeah, last night it was it, it, it proper cold and um, we only had our three season sleeping bags because they packed down smaller and the wind kept whipping up. Obviously there's uh, ice caps on them top, so anyway. Mike's just gone down, filter some water, and we can get ourselves a brew. Well, let's have a look what we've got for today. What have we got for today? Morning. 
Morning. And this is what we've got for today. Woo! <laughs> All got a walker coming down on this side here with shorts on. It's only about seven o'clock in the morning. It's keen, that, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, there's someone going up there as well. Yeah, up towards uh, Windy Gap there. Brew time! <laughs> Pop up cup. Ah, 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 it runs mine about pulling that jacket on my night. Oh man, we're all night. Yeah, I was close. But I, I, I knew, I had a feeling that it, 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 if I just, it, it wouldn't be long until it, it got a little bit warmer. Yeah. And it kind of did. Right, it's a bit windy this morning. So I'm going to put on my help kit jacket. Stay warm. Well, I have my brew. Yeah, I kept thinking about putting my coat on last night in the sleep because it was really, uh, pretty cold. And then I thought, no, I'll be all right. Because obviously we've only got both, well, both of us have got on three season sleeping bags here. And really we should have had four season because it's not quite the weather yet. But yeah, oh, the rat's warm already. Look at this. Woo! So where's Great End in the morning and you can see all the snow caps are still on there and there's a tent just at the other side of the tarp. Right, gonna start packing this inside this tent down now and just leave it so I've got my kitchen out to make another brew and uh, I'll pack everything else into my rucksack and then we can just have a brew get out and whip down the tent start with the mat, get the mat down I think it's the bottom of the mat wet Sorry. Bottom of the mat's wet. Still one part for some reason. pack away the sleeping bag and this down bag packs away smaller than the OEX synthetic one we normally use so get this packed away and now you know what I'm gonna say to you we're winning okay yeah, I'm gonna put this away and get the kettle on and then uh, have a brew before we take down the tent today because it's pretty windy out there And that's how small the rab packs up. Right, well we're out of the tent now. See Mike's tent there, he's in the Van Gogh Banshee. I'm in the Terra Nova, or Laser One competition. This was our view last night at Stayhead Tarn. Had some campers over there, they're in a Van Gogh two-man tent. So what we're gonna do now is pack down the the tents and then we're gonna sign off from here because we're on another trekking day we're going up Green Gable and we're gonna go along and drop back down to the farm that way down Brown ba ba yeah, Brown Base so yo and there's a few people knocking about this morning 
Yeah, we've seen a few hikers pass us, so they'll be. I don't know where they're going <laughs> this time of morning, but they're on a big mission, I can tell you that now. Hey, Scalbo, he's on his uh, sausage muffin this morning, still in his sleeping bag. I'm all packed down, as you can see, it's all empty. We're just waiting on the kettle now. Well, this is where we were parked last night with the tents, and as you can see, we've left no trace. Right, that's the end of the video. So until next time, stay safe, stay stealthy, and I'll see you on the next Urban Rats adventure.